Hey there guys, welcome back to Hersey Games and welcome back to the QPR Crow Mode. Firstly, very sorry that it's been so long between episodes. Uh, if you guys had seen recently, I uploaded a channel update video just to kind of touch base with everyone, explain why things have been so few and far between and some potential short term changes to the series just for a little bit um, with me bringing it back. Uh, just as a very brief update to everyone uh these are going to be slightly shorter episodes that come out a little bit more frequently so the plan is to have two slightly shorter episodes a week instead of one longer episode every saturday uh it is just for the sake of me being able to find shorter periods of editing time uh and it makes it more likely that i can get videos out essentially so that's the plan uh going through at least the end of 23 uh or fifth 23 um and then for either eafc or fifth 24 or whatever route we take with the next game that is coming out uh, that will be potentially up for a bit of change. We shall see. Um, but if you guys aren't caught up, there's a playlist down below. If you're new to the series, hello, welcome. My name's Tom. Um, but yeah, so just as a catch up for everyone, including myself, um, this is what the standings currently look like. We are currently in ninth place in the Premier League. Very happy indeed. Hopefully, by the way, uh, you guys can hear the gameplay audio. I'm using, since the last time I filmed this, I'm using new software so hopefully you guys can hear it all and hopefully we don't have any like crazy audio issues with the gameplay being too loud if anything i'd rather it's a bit too quiet so hopefully it's on the quieter side of things we will find that out later on uh, our next game is up against man city though top of the table uh flying pretty high right now but in ninth place i'm very very happy with this the squad is looking pretty goddamn good as well uh at the moment by the way bottom of the table you've got leeds sheffield united and brighton sitting down there uh but yeah the squad for again everyone's sake including mine is currently sat uh, as this with a, a decent little squad going you know we've got I, I don't know why it keeps doing this with reminding me all of this stuff a decent little squad man like I, I think the team's looking pretty good we've got some good players in there some good depth uh, in certain positions Reese Nelson was one of our newer signings coming in as well um Obviously, Harvey Hutton, uh, he is very much QPR through and through. Uh, and we do have some players, though, that have actually left the club IRL. And Senny Dieng and Rob Dickey both have now left um, in real life. And we will maybe consider what to do with those when we get to the next transfer window. We have got um, a few players, but I don't think we've got a crazy amount of money, if memory serves me correctly. We did also sign Ethan Laird on a permanent. Uh, but let's have a quick look at the money situation. We have got 13 million. We do actually have some cash to splash but uh obviously right now we are in january oh so it is the jack hmm that'd be a nice little way to come back make a looking at some uh some signings okay I'll, I'll be right back. Give me a second. Now, I remember we were talking about the option and possibility of bringing Eze back. Now, obviously, sadly, I don't quite have the funds for Eze as it is. But I'll tell you guys right now, if the opportunity arises that we can get a beer a we'll bring him back i promise you guys that so i'm not going to make any signings right here right now if i was to make a signing it would potentially be for a center back we have we are also looking at uh Renarsen here but i don't think he's going to be very good rating for us anyway um but yeah i'm going to hold fire for now i think it would be a cool way of like bringing the series back as a, a bit of a hello but i'm going to hold fire uh and we'll potentially look at some signings maybe down the line oh we do actually have an offer here for rob dickey which is interesting uh that i've only just seen um coming in at 13.7 i'll ask for a little bit more money uh we'll see if we can get a little bit more if we get some decent money i'll keep you our fans chance of getting 18 million for rob dickey would have been nice wouldn't it uh but yeah i'll ask for a bit more and if he does go then we know we can pick up a beer as a which would be lovely and then we'll have some money uh, left over to splash out on a center back so we'll see what benfica say otherwise uh, i'll see you guys at either the city game or if anything else happens well they've come back with a response 18 million they're happy to splash the cash on rob dickey so we're going to accept 18 i know he's currently our captain so a new captain will be uh will be picked out but 18 million for dickey is fantastic also an offer for linden i think for now i'm just going to say no because i don't have any like depth in striker positions at all so linden can stay uh, i like linden in real life and i like him in the career mode so he can stay here and i don't really want to sell him to fill him anyway although the deal has been agreed dickey is still a qpr player so it's still going to be here playing and in the team i've also remembered we were going to look at a replacement for Ferro. That is what we were mainly looking for. 
uh, way back when, you know, over a month ago. Uh, so selling my main centre back when wanting to replace my se second centre back maybe wasn't my smartest choice, but it does give me 18 million pounds to find some options. So that's what we're going to do. Let's get into this first game. It looks like a really good squad. Uh, they're up against it's a city team that's to be expected but just before we head in let's very quickly hear from today's video sponsor do you need some more coins for your fifa ultimate team then look no further than u7 buy they're the cheapest and most reliable place to get your fifa ultimate team coins and if you use code hursty at checkout you'll get yourself an extra discount I want to say a massive thank you to u7 buy for sponsoring us don't forget that code hursty now let's get back to the video here we are at loftus road very very excited to be here hopefully we can come away with a win on our return to the series and hopefully the audio isn't too crazy loud for you again i've got it set quite low I, sadly i don't know until i watch it back if the audio is going to be okay so hopefully it sounds good uh, but there we are the fred tifo things you love to see the ex united player being pulled out for the city game and fingers crossed we can come away today with three very important points obviously city sitting comfortably at the top of the table hopefully we can do i mean we're not planning on winning the league but uh just to you know lower that gap will be quite nice come on you ours vega brings the ball forward here into Ilias. Ilias now gonna look wide gets it back to vega lovely stuff there the run inside from hutton needs to be good we're gonna try and chip it into the air edison's gonna come out react quite quickly and punch it away De Silva tries to keep it alive but they are gonna get it there and fred's just gonna have to start this attack again a little bit working our way backwards to then bring it forwards De Silva stayed up there gonna oh, try and find hutton but couldn't good bit of defense there in the end from city alvarez plays it into harland never something you want to hear harland's gonna try and play it in dickie's gonna get in the way of it in the end and bring it away good stuff there from dicky harland is obviously going to be a threat uh and i think he's already in this save in this season uh on target to break the uh the goal scoring record great tackle there from Ferro harland on his way as we said to a, a record breaking season in the game and uh he was on his way there to just add another one to the tally another step closer but well done to Ferro, the man who as we have said is is one of our key replaced players uh stepping in but hold on a second Ilias chair with the Traveller the counter-attack of dreams boys it's things you love to see lovely bit of play good calm collected pass out from Dickey into the midfield we rotate it through nicely chair and Willock teaming up as you'd love to see in real life the ball out wide and then it's cut inside lovely stuff from Willock the pull the uh the finish from chair as well was absolutely gorgeous uh, and, and a nice bit of play as well not to to overshadow it from De Silva at the start getting that ball into to Willock as well but lovely lovely stuff really nice indeed 1-0 I think it's his seventh it is it's, it's mad that I remembered that seventh goal this season for Ilias things you love to see come on you ours Foden out on the left here Bellerin gonna have to try and close him down but Foden turns him far too easily options on the edge of the box and instead he finds Willock and obviously I am absolutely okay with that chair now gonna try and play a ball through here plays it behind Diaz and Hutton with space to run into Diaz is not going to close him down Hutton's going to have the shot I maybe could have played it across but I won't lie to you I was trying to get a corner or something out of it so we'll take the corner here with Willock well done to Hutton there for winning that one put maybe a little bit too much power and actually maybe not enough power on it and they are going to get it away Diaz is going to get there first fair enough working this round really nicely Ferro again stepping in really really well it's you know what Ferro's putting on a really good display to show a reason why he should be kept here because uh if he can keep Haaland relatively at bay, I think he can keep pretty much anyone at bay is kind of what I'm, I think I'm being showed here from Ferro. So he's stepping up to the plate and he's stepping up to the plate very impressively indeed. That is all she wrote for the first half. And honestly, I'm fine with that script. 1-0 at the break. Very happy indeed to go in at the break of the lead. And honestly, really nicely worked. We've had limited chances. I think City have when they've had the ball and anyone who's played career mode can attest to it. As soon as you come up against a team like City and they get possession, they're a nightmare to win the ball off of. They are an absolute pain to play against. But we've done really well, really happy with the early lead. I think I might make a little change here. I think Reese Nelson on for Vega. Just some fresh legs. Uh, Vega's been a little bit hit and miss. He's not really uh, been overly helpful at times uh, on that left-hand side. Not making runs when he should have done. Uh, and Nelson's pace and the fresh legs, I'm absolutely here for it. So second half... 1-0, honestly, a clean sheet from here is the absolute must, really. That's what we've really, really got to pay attention to because obviously, as long as you don't concede from now, we get three points. So that's the main focus. A second goal, just to add that extra security would be lovely too, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. It's 1-0, come on, you ours. 
Oh, Haaland on the ball here. Ferro and Dickey split. And that is all it takes. That is all it takes. I was saying the clean sheet's important. And within seconds, I've conceded. Erling Haaland with an absolute screamer of a strike there from uh, from an Erling Haaland kind of range, to be, to be fair. The man scores uh, as close as he wants. But also, if he wants to, he can just unleash that. It's a powerful shot. Senny... You could argue maybe could have done a bit better, but at the end of the day, it, it was an absolute rocket from Erling Haaland. It's 1-1. That's very disappointing. That's really deflating, you know, conceding that early on in the second half. That's that's frustrating, boys. It's uh, it's annoying, and that's a bad pass as well, just to add insult to injury. Haaland out wide. I'm okay with him being out here. You know, it's in the box. I don't want him to be. And uh, he's played a lovely pass there. Oh, mate, that was lucky. Phillips played the ball into the middle. And thankfully, I'm not sure who it was he was passing to. But thankfully, they didn't get possessed. Oh, I've... Uffed. One day, boys, one day, I'll pay attention to uh, offside traps. Today, today is apparently not that day. Haaland on the ball. Oh, again, playing that ball through the middle there. I do get a little bit lucky that it wasn't quite the pass that they needed to cause us problems. We are playing some real close-knit football. Football here? You... You know what? Words. Words are not my friend. Ilias Chair. I'm going to lose the ball. Well, never mind. But Bernardo Silva is going to pick it up. They're going to play it inside. Alvarez, thankfully, plays it out wide here to Foden. Mate. Oh, no, 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 no. Ferro. Not like this. That was Dickie, actually. That wasn't Ferro. Fred on the ball. Going to try and play it into Hutton. Really well won there from Akanji. Because uh, that would have been a real good chance for Hutton to, uh, to bag a second to re-secure the lead there. Uh, but that's a really nice pass from Jao Cancelo. Bernardo Silva's going to get to that. Henry is wrong-sided, as is Dickey there. Well done, Dickey. Good recovery from Rob Dickey. Nelson going to play it into Ilias here. And Hutton, can he break away from Akanji? He's not a slow centre-back. Hutton, oh, it's a good effort. It's a good save, though, from Edison. Diaz gets up to it to Silva. Wins it. Heads it down. Nelson heads it so far wide i've asked for it to the close post he has done the opposite triple change though willick de silva and ferro off leko how and aussie on pretty much three like for like changes uh how coming on as a dm aussie coming on as a center back and uh leko coming on as that right cam uh you guys know that uh if if you're ever in doubt a nice quick substitute in someone like uh jonathan leko can be the difference that you need at times just to come in and uh just make that one last chance, you know. But hold on a second here. Talking of chances, Bellerin done really well there. Foden has been a nightmare to defend against. Bellerin has had a real, real tough time against Foden. Uh, but he's come out on top there. And this is the pace I'm talking about. Jonathan Lecco, surely. Surely. Oh, the sweat was there. Boys, the sweat was there. I think that... Oh, boys, I'm actually really disappointed in myself. I am really disappointed in myself. I cannot believe, I cannot believe I've not played the sweat. I'm, I'm so disappointed that the duo of Leko and Nelson coming on would have been the perfect partnership to get that goal. And I've just, I've just botched it, boys. I've just absolutely wasted it. It is what it is. It is what it is. I'm not going to dwell on it. It's annoying. But it's happened. Oh, it should have been 2-1. It, it would have been a late gasp winner. We'd have had the thumbnail sorted. <laughs> it is what it is, boys. It's a waste from me. It's 1-1, man. Oh, I think, I think that's really, really going to have annoyed me, boys. I, I won't lie to you. That has annoyed me quite a bit. That I've I, Watching it back, I just watched the highlight, the replay. It was such an easy sweat. Such an easy sweat. And that was just game, set, and match if I did it. But I'm going to try not to dwell on it. Uh, we're going to crack on. We'll hopefully get some transfer news uh, very soon about Dickie's departure. Uh, and then we've got some options to kind of weigh up, decide on. We'll go from there. Okay, here we are in the FA Cup next game against Man United. Uh, we are doing the play highlights for the FA Cup until we get into like the big bad boy rounds. You can see very rotated squad. Pow, Aussie, Dunn, Laird, Fred stays in. Field, Leco, Howe, Nelson, Dykes. Literally, Fred and Dieng keep their first team spots. It is no messing around from United looking at that squad. But uh, we need the rotation right now. Players are getting a little bit tired. And uh, obviously, we've got some changes coming up soon squad-wise. So let's, uh, let's jump into it. Let's play these highlights. 
Another home game, another Manchester side. This time, though, it is Man United, fourth round of the FA Cup. And it's not going to be an easy one. It's, it's a very, very difficult game at the best of times. When you rotate your squad quite a lot, it becomes a lot harder. But we take on the Red Devils and hopefully we can get into the next round of the Cup. Come on, you are. Let's get into these highlights. I imagine we're going to be defending quite a bit. We're defending straight away. Free kick seven minutes in here for Man United. Uh, Ronaldo on the free kick. Interesting. You'd probably have him in the box from this angle. They're going to whip it in. Senny, up you get, mate. Good lad. Come on, then. Uh, United on the counter-attack here. So, again, I'm not surprised to see lots of chances for United. I, I said a minute ago, that's what I expected. Jimmy done with a big tackle. Do we get... We actually get an attack from this as well. Linden, mate. Go on, lad. Oh, good effort. Couldn't quite get the shot away. It was close, though. It was very, very close. Corner for United. 25 minutes in. Again, three highlights. Three for Man United. Let's see if we can deal with this one. Fred's going to be the man I'm controlling. It changes me to Leko. Leko gets it out initially. Only to the edge of the box, though. They keep it alive. Casemiro thunders it into his own uh, own forward. Ozzy gets it away. That is going to be the end of that highlight. Uh, United solo run. Uh, that's Ronaldo. He's just through. I, I'm telling you now, look. What am I supposed to do here? Th there's very little I'm supposed to do. I think Aussie Kaka got a touch on that. Go on, mate. Good lad. Uh, and again, it's Aussie up against Ronaldo here. Kenneth Powell, though, is probably the player I'm going to have to go to in this scenario. Ronaldo going to try and just walk it round me. Kenneth Powell needs a bit of strength here. He's going to play in the middle. Solo run. And it takes three of them to find the back of the net. Brent off of the deflect. Is that Brent? I think it's Brent. I'm not even sure. I can't even say. Is it Xavi Simmons? No, it is Brent. It's just a the trim doesn't do him any favours. Brandt makes it 1-0 after a chance from Ronaldo to cut back into Casemiro. Casemiro hits the post. Brandt gets the rebound. But now we've got a solo run. Look at the difference in the solo runs, by the way. Look at the difference in the, the quality of the chance. But hold on. Jonathan Lecco makes it 1-1, boys. This cup tight and the cup run is not over just yet. The super sub man himself bagging a goal for QPR. Let's go back into it, boys. Back into it. Another solo chance. We've got Lyndon Dykes on the ball this time. Not the quickest of customers, Mr. Lyndon, but he's up against a Rougeau, who is actually quite a quick. About. Okay, I immediately, immediately was going to struggle with that one. Reese Nelson, we're getting some chances here. Just over the hour mark, we are maybe ever so slightly in the ascendancy. Bit of a purple patch. We need to make the most of it, though, boys. Nelson whips it in. I didn't put enough on it. Leko brings that ball down quite nicely. The heavy touch, though, does him dirty. They bring that one away. Any more chance? Cool. Penalty. Of course it is. Of course it's a penalty for Man United. Cristiano Ronaldo is going to step up. He's going to go top right. And we save it. Seni Dieng. Good lad. Come on, boys. They tried to do us dirty, giving them a penalty. Free goal for them. 85 minutes. So Jimmy Dunn against Cristiano Ronaldo. Thoughts? Oh, no way. I've put in a great slide tackle. I'm absolutely fuming, boys. I put in a fantastic slide tackle with Jimmy Dunn, and it's mugged me off by just giving the ball back to Ronaldo. Senny Dieng, I do the fake run out, and Ronaldo still chips him. I'm absolutely fuming, boys. I'm absolutely fuming. We have been done so dirty, man. That is outrageous from UEA, and you know it as well. It's outrageous. Go on, give us one last chance. Give us one last... Obviously not on this highlight. No, it's full time. I'm, I'm actually a bit miffed, boys. I won't lie to you. That tackle from Jimmy Dunn was perfect and it just gave the ball back to him. Absolutely ridiculous, yay. Yeah. Fraudulent behaviour. We're out the FA Cup. It's frustrating. There's not much I can do about it. Um, I tried. I, I, hopefully you guys know I did genuinely give it my best. We saved the penalty and everything, but we still got mugged off. Cheers. Well, we might be out of the cup, but we have completed... Uh, one of our financial objectives, things you love to see. Uh, also, a bunch of scout reports coming back in, so we'll have a look at those players in a second. Rob Dickey, by the way, has also sold. 18 million is what we sold him for. As you know, 14 million is what's been added to our transfer kitty. Let's see who we're going to pick up. Okay, had a look at a few little players here. Uh, we're going to start off with Medina. Good little player. Very good to have. Uh, normally plays, obviously, in the French League, but has clearly transferred over to Hoffenheim in the Bundesliga. Good, good player. 24 years of age. I think he's going to be lower rated than Dickie, but I think he'll be probably around 75, 76. 
uh, and I think he could be a good addition to the squad. Uh, still plenty of time to improve. Uh, Dweki, probably saying that wrong, uh, but Union Berlin, obviously QPR Union Berlin, have had a few transfers between them in the past, so could be part of that and keeping up with that sort of trend. Uh, would love to sign Gwehi, too expensive um, and is also not to be sold by Palace. Uh, Colwell could be a good little pickup. Uh, obviously had a phenomenal uh, Euros. Well done, of course, by the way, to uh, the under-21s for winning that. Incredible stuff from the Lions, man. Absolutely amazing. Um, could be a good pickup, but probably going to be about 72 rated, so will be a quite a downgrade initially. Uh, Collins, again, I'm going to guess maybe 76 rated. 22 years of age, has the versatility of right back. Very, very interested in Collins. I won't lie to you. That is one of the top ones for me. I actually am really tempted to pick him up. Uh, Bella Kotchap, I know that he's a good uh, good card um, on Ultimate Team for a Silver Star. Very quick, about like 84 pace on his, on his Silver Star card, uh, or Silver card, sorry, um, on Ultimate Team. But uh, again, he's probably going to be like 74, 75 rated unless he's had plenty of game time and going up. So we'll see. Uh, Worrell, leader of men trait. So that will be huge for us. Obviously in the championship, because Nottingham Forest got relegated last season in this. So... Probably a decent enough pickup. Uh, also, you've got uh, Moussinia Kate here, who I could pick up for probably around 12, 13 million. 45 grand a week, obviously some big wages, but worth considering. Uh, then we've got Clark as a maybe, probably again, maybe 73, 74, so probably a bit too low rated. Willie Bolly, I think is a little bit too old, otherwise I would consider him. And then we have got Quaresma. We could go with a double Portuguese back line, probably be about five, maybe six million pounds to pick up. 21 years of age, good potential. Um, and then other end of the spectrum, slightly older, the same age as Dickie was when we sold him, but 15 million is his market value. Uh, but St. Just is an absolute pay demon so could be huge for us to bring in uh, as well and then i've got a lot of youngsters that i was looking at too but i just don't think that's the right choice for us right now if i was being absolute like my number one choice would be collins uh, he's got a release clause of 18.9 the issue is i don't know what rating he is uh, i don't know his value so it's a tough one for me i could go in and throw like you know a five mil on him uh, and be told to sod off i could go in and throw a 15 mil and they would absolutely take it because he was worth eight do you know what i mean so it's a tough one i'm not entirely sure what to do i'm gonna go i think i'm gonna go in for collins and if collins doesn't work out then i might consider going in for charisma so i'm gonna try collins hopefully i don't mug myself off here um i, I think i'm just gonna offer like a, a safe offer here i'm gonna go for like do I go? I'm going to go nine. And then I'm going to add a player because I think it makes it a safer option if they're like, ah, we don't want him. So I'm going to offer Clark Salter and nine. I could be mugging myself off. We're going to see what they say. Uh, they want Willock and two. So first of all, get out of here. But I know that that means they probably value him at around 15 or so. So I'm going to offer 11 because I think that's close enough that they're willing to, to barter. So 12.7 plus the 10%. I'm going to remove the sell-on clause and I'm going to offer 12. So I know that's lower than the, what they wanted with a sell-on clause. 12.4, there we go. See, they're willing to consider it. I'm going to just say 12. I'm not going above 12. So if, you, if you're willing to have it, there we go. 12 mil, very happy with that. Let's sort out some wages and see if we've got ourselves a bargain there. Obviously, slight frustration is I have no idea what he's on at the moment. So uh, that is going to be slightly annoying. It would be nice if they tell me what he wants rather than me having to guess. Five years, absolutely fine with that, my friend. No release clause, also fine. Please tell me what you want. 31. Uh, okay, let's get rid of the appearance bonus and put it to 30. And then put this at 300,000. It's not a bad deal, my friend. There we go. He's happy to join. 30 grand a week. Very happy indeed. New centre back through the door. Collins, my friend, welcome in. Very happy indeed with that one. Uh, again, I think this is going to be pretty much a like for like. Dickie wasn't very quick, but I think Collins is a little bit quicker than Dickie was. So I think it is going to add a little bit of pace to our back line. And hopefully the rating isn't crazy different anyway. I'm get, Like I said, I'm guessing like a 76 is my guess. So if he's at least 76 i'll be happy because it does keep the the general ratings of everything looking pretty good uh but here he is our new number four nathan collins mate welcome to qpr very happy to have him on board and i personally think that this is going to prove to be hopefully a pretty good signing all right let's see how we did so benfica off uh, sorry 
let's see how we did rob dickey off to benfica obviously for 18 uh they gave that one an a absolutely agreed i think we got some very good money for him excellent deal uh collins uh i could wait so his transfer target oh wait they've messed that up because that was about dickey here's collins okay 12 mil come on what was it what rating did we get for that transfer we got an a as well okay so i feel like we've gotten for a good value then good value he is 77 rated his market value is 12.5 the best possible deal was 12.7 and we got him for 12 very happy with that he's 22 years of age same rating as dicky uh five years younger i think we've done pretty well there boys so let's bring him straight into that team there he is very happy 78 pace so he is a darn sight quicker than uh dicky was and you know what we're going to stick with Farrow for the rest of the season. He did pretty well against Haaland. Uh, so he's he's given me a bit of a confidence boost there. There's, I mean, I've got to try it. I don't I don't think I'm going to be able to pull it off, boys. But we're going to try and bring a Birieze back. They want at least 17.2 mil for him. That's like the, the sort of minimum that the board reckon I can offer. I don't have that. I can squeeze together 15. Uh, no, I can't. I can't even do that. I can't even do that. So that is a problem. That is a problem. Uh, I think being realistic, right? Being entirely realistic. He's going to come in for either Vega, Willock or Chair, right? That's that's just us being honest with ourselves here. That is just us being honest with ourselves. So I think our option is we need to probably send one of the players of the way. I think we have to lose a player. I'm going to start off by offering... Um, I'm going to offer Clark Salter. I think that's going to be the play. I know that we're massively, massively undervaluing him here. But this is this is what I've got right now. They're going to probably walk out. They would accept Clark Salter and 19. Okay, here's the issue, uh, V-Dog. Me and Vieira are close like that. we got nicknames for each other. Uh, I'm going to offer you 14 because that's what I have. I'm just curious. Just curious. Sorry. Sorry, what? 14 and Jake Clark Salter for a Bireze. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, boys. Excuse you. Excuse you. Boys, we've got to make this happen. Boys, this has got to happen. I know I've not got much for wages and stuff. Oh, he doesn't even want that much. Boys, he's not even asking for that much, man. I just haven't got the money. I just haven't got it. He's agreed. £38,000. I didn't think he'd say yes. But boys... Abire Eze is back, lads. Abire Eze is back. I never thought I'd see it. I never thought I'd see it. But Abire Eze, Ilias Chair, and Chris Willock in a trio. In a trio, boys. Boy, we might win the league, you know. We actually legit might win the league. There he is, Abire Eze. 40 mil in Jake Clark so That is a steal, lads. That's got to be an A. Yeah, if you give me anything less than an A, I was going to say you're lying to yourself. You're lying to yourself. He's 80 rated. His market value was 21.5. 14, uh, sorry, 16.1 was the best possible deal, which is pretty much what we paid with Jake Clark Salter. Amazing. Absolutely incredible behavior from us there. I'm a bit annoyed I didn't get the cutscene. I won't lie to you. It's going to make it a lot harder to get a thumbnail from that. Cheers, EA. But a beer as a mate, get in the squad, lad yes now linden i love you to pieces but i think linden's gonna have to be the man to drop off the bench here uh i think it's gonna just have to be that way linden's gonna be uh oh i think i mean nelson i mean leco and vega can both play striker so there are new rotation options but mate he's back uh, oh, he's bat boys i'm just gonna keep scanning forward until they give me the the cutscene. That's all I want. Aussie's going nowhere. Don't even try it. I, I just want to see the cutscene, boys. That's all I want to see. I want to see 
Eze lifting up a QPR shirt. That's all I've been shown, by the way. I've just gone to the, the news to see if it would happen. That's all I get. That's all I get. Fuming. Well, I'm going to have to get creative with how I get the thumbnail today because uh, obviously, sadly, I haven't been shown it here with Eze in a QPR shirt, so I'm going to have to work it out. But uh, as I said, slightly shorter time recording to make slightly shorter episodes to make them happen more frequent. Thank you very much for watching. That's where we're going to round up today. We'll start off the next episode with our game against Leicester City away, uh, and it will be Eze's first game back at QPR in the Prem, flying high, ninth in the table. Hopefully we can keep flying above that now that we've improved our squad just that little bit two new signers obviously don't forget collins in there as well but thank you very much for watching hopefully you guys enjoyed if you did please do leave a like on the video supports me the video and the series out a whole bunch if you're new make sure you hit that sub button and turn notifications on to be told anytime we upload if you want to watch us on live streams there's links to both my twitch and my tiktok in my pillar link a link to all my social medias in there so make sure you go and check it out uh, but that's it for me thank you very much for watching i've been tom you guys have been awesome and i'll see you soon look after yourselves and of course wash your hands in a bit guys